Namaste, welcome back to my channel Avekan with Pradhyaya and today we are going to do a video on a twin flame runner who does not initiate any sort of a contact even when that person is missing their twin flame. In, in my last video on the same topic, um, I have kind of started this series of runner chaser dynamic and this is the second video of this series. And in the last video, I talked about the traits of the divine runner, the behavioral traits, the emotional traits and the divine traits, um, how a twin flame runner behaves in a certain situations. I think this is the most common question which every chaser keeps wondering about, that if the person is truly loving them, if the person is truly caring about them, then what actually stops them from contacting you? And this video is going to discuss exactly the same question and, and the reasons behind this question. Before I begin, I want to inform everybody that on the occasion of my Twin Flames birthday, which is on April 7th, it is the first birthday after he passed and transitioned into the spirit last year. And just to have something special on that day, I decided to have a collective twin flame energy doing a meditation together and connect with our own twin flame through our heart center. So this is the first time I'm going to do something like this. There are so many of you who have already approached me. If at all anyone was not knowing about it and wants to join this meditation on April 7th, uh, the information is given below. Please look into the description of this video and get in touch with me so that I can send you the invite for this meditation. <clears throat> Apart from this, all those who have not yet subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel because there is a lot of stuff which is going to happen in this year onwards. I also do one-on-one -on -one personal sessions for those who want to have some sort of a tip, help, encouragement, support when it comes to the twin flame journey and your spiritual awakening. So anybody who is wanting to know more about my one-on-one -on -one sessions, please access the information given in the description of this video. All those people who don't understand English well, you need to access the wheel icon, which represents the settings in your video and you need to select automatic translation which also allows you to select the language of your choice so you would be able to get subtitles in your own language and that might help you to understand a bit better if you are not well versed in english so let's begin with today's video first of all i really want to thank my own twin flame for this particular video because in my journey, when time to time, I stumbled upon a certain conversation with my twin flame and we confronted certain things to each other. And when I got this chance to ask my twin flame that why in this particular situation you were not initiating contact with me and time to time he gave me his honest feedback about what exactly he was feeling and why he did not initiate any sort of a contact with me in that particular phase in our journey even though he was thinking about me, even though he was missing me. His honest confrontations with me as he started getting aligned with me helped me immensely to understand what exactly goes on in runner's mind. First thing is whether to reach out to you or not to reach out because they feel that this whole situation, your connection is in the kind of a limbo state and whatever they do, there is some sort of a question getting generated in their mind that whether this is the right thing to do or wrong thing, thing to do. They are not able to really see any sort of a clear picture of what that connection is all about. And that is why they feel that pull, but they can't really do justice to that pull because there is this absolute ambiguity in their mind when it comes to reaching out to you. Eventually their logical mind wins and they decide not to reach out to you. Second reason is that they don't have answers to your questions because they obviously know that once they start initiating a contact with you, the conversation is going to go to a certain level of interaction and then you will start asking them some sort of questions that why 
some things are not working or why they are not talking to you and genuinely they are not having the answers to your questions and they don't know what to answer you because many a times a chaser gets into this result oriented conversation that are we really reaching anywhere because the chaser believes in the union they want things to work out and that is why you start getting towards that particular outcome and the moment you start getting to that particular outcome and asking questions towards that sort of an outcome runners would absolutely get uncomfortable and why they are getting uncomfortable because they themselves are confused in their mind they don't know the solution to your question they don't know the answer to your question and somewhere when the moment comes when they are feeling like initiating that contact with you suddenly they will just pause and take a back seat because they feel that if they start initiating that conversation those questions are going to come on them and they are not able to answer it third reason is that most probably they also get really really overwhelmed by initiating a contact with you because like you they are also very much struggling to cope up with their life without this connection for whatever x y z reasons they know that once they get in contact with you all that emotion which they have in their heart whatever the intensity they are trying to suppress in their heart is going to come up and they are going to start getting vulnerable emotional they even might start feeling so inclined towards you that they won't be able to concentrate on anything else in their life neither their job career or their family or spouse or whatever their priorities are somewhere they fear that they will lose the grip on their life because this connection becomes too overwhelming for them and because of that fear of getting out of control they would completely avoid initiating contact with you fourth reason is that they feel that they are disturbing you in your life i can give you my own example my twin flame would never initiate a contact in the initial period of my journey and when i asked him that why are you not talking and he used to tell me that i don't want to disturb you he used to feel that if he pings me whatever happy life i am living along with my family i am going to get disturbed if i start getting his messages and he want always wanted to avoid that disturbance he didn't want to be the one who disturbs me in my life only to protect my happiness he used to decide that he is not going to initiate any sort of a contact with me i will do whatever sacrifice i need to do to keep you happy that sort of attitude if you ask me i used to get absolutely devastated or i used to get really upset or i used to really be sad because i used to only see that oh he is not initiating any contact so i used to think and feel that does he even care does he even think of me but the situation was never like that the situation was always like this that he wanted to protect my interests he wanted to protect me from getting disturbed and that is why he never initiated any contact in those days fifth reason is that they feel that by not initiating the contact with you they are avoiding any sort of a complex situation occurring in both your lives and this this is i think a very typical matrix sort of a thinking like when my twin flame was living this normal life he was not aware of this connection in a div- divine way or in a spiritual way his point of view of looking at this connection was very very much 3d very much earthly very much typical and that is why he used to always think that if he is indulging any in any sort of a conversation with me it is going to trigger me in some way or it is going to overwhelm me the way it is happening with him as well and that situation if it starts happening more and more some sort of a complex scenario which is going to get created in our in both our lives and that's for a normal person who is not really understanding what this connection is about it is very logical to think like that that i don't want to create any sort of a complexity in my life and i don't want to create any sort of a complexity in anybody else's life and that's why let me play safe and let me not initiate any contact that's why let's not be in touch
then when it comes to not initiating contact this guilt factor also is a very very major factor in their life so when it comes to reasons which are related to guilt one of the reasons is that they have this huge guilt of not doing justice to their spouse their kids and their family by being in touch with you so somewhere their inner struggle between their brain and heart is pulling them to and fro their heart is definitely getting drawn towards you because you are their soul connection at the same time their logical side their so called societal conditional side is telling them that you should be spending time with your kids why are you thinking about this person you should be giving priority to your family and because of these conditional thoughts there is always this guilt feeling in their heart that i should avoid this connection even though i love this person dearly i should avoid this connection because it's not right you know it's all about right and wrong and society conditioning and how they should be doing justice to their family kids and spouse another guilt factor when it comes to romantic relationship uh, or romantic feelings for you they are somewhere accepting that they do have this intense a soul connection or some sort of a intense magnetic pull towards you there is some sort of deep love there there is a deep love when it comes to you and the connection with you and uh, they are not really able to justify that particular emotion with themselves and they are trying to compare themselves into right and wrong because they are feeling that they are not really doing justice with their spouse you should be loyal with your spouse especially when they are running in this particular scenario with this reason they would try their best to show you their pictures with their spouse or how they are happy they are happy they will post their happy pictures on social media they will try their best to show you how they are very very happy with their spouse in their earthly life and why it is happening like that why they are trying to show you going out of their way that how they are happy in their life is because they are holding great love for you and they are having great guilt feeling about it because they have a spouse and the mor- morale in their heart is somewhere struggling between being loyal with their spouse and accepting the feelings they have for you at the same time then the third scenario in this around this guilt feeling is that they will always feel that they don't want to be a home breaker or they don't want to be a second person in your life that you already have a spouse and they come in your life as a second person and they might become the reason for you to break your marriage or, or break apart your family and they don't want to do that because because of their morale or ethical values they they don't want to get into that sort of a scenario and that is why they really really want to protect you from breaking your marriage or drifting apart from your spouse at the same time they are having all these feelings about you but then their logical side starts telling them that okay it's better to stay away because you need to protect this person from falling apart from their family or their spouse and certainly i don't want to be the reason for somebody to break their home and i used to ask my twin flame he used to say that i don't want to disturb you and whenever he would initiate any sort of a conversation later in the latter part of our journey when he little bit started initiating the conversation he always used to ask me where i am whether i am with my family because if i am with my family then he does not want to disturb me or he does not want to utilize my family time in talking to him he was so overly careful about these things um though it changed slowly later as we progressed other few reasons are basically originated from the fear factor there is some sort of a fear in their mind and that is why they would not initiate any sort of a contact with you and the first reason for having this fear is lack of self worth they don't feel that they are worthy of you there is some sort of a inferiority complex again in the initial period in my journey 
my twin flame used to tell me that oh i am so much uh, such a qualified person i come from india's best institute and uh, he used to feel that i am somewhere in a very different league and uh, in normal circumstances maybe i wouldn't even look at him and if you really ask me that was never the scenario i always considered him as one of the perfect person in my life and nobody else even matched anywhere near him and that particular feeling which i had was not depending upon how much educated he is what sort of a social or financial status he has it was just there he was absolutely perfect when it comes to my emotions my understanding and he always used to have these self worth issues and he always used to feel that i am somewhere i am too perfect and he is not worthy of me and this particular emotion was extended further in our journey in some or the other percentage and that also was one of the reasons why he used to hesitate to initiate any sort of a contact because of his lack of self worth another fear based reason is fear of losing you i mean you might not even think about this reason they are definitely sensing this purity of your connection and the love you have for them and for them it is too good to be true how come somebody can love them so much again there is a lack of self worth so am i really worthy of this love how come this person can love me so much and if i approach them what if that the person their spouse or something else in their life situation comes in between us and i lose them what so they they are absolutely fearing to take that one step ahead because they are fearing that they might lose you they you might abandon them or uh, there will be something which will not work out and what would they do afterwards if they lose you and out of that fear only to protect their own interests their own sanity they will not initiate contact with the last and the third reason based on the fear is that being questioned by society being questioned by their family being questioned by their spouse what if my family finds out what if my spouse figures out and what if i have to answer somebody that why am i talking to this person or how can i actually confront this my true feeling my true uh, experience with this person to somebody else my maybe my spouse won't be able to understand my family won't understand me and if this this connection is a bit unconventional if there is a great age gap or uh, it's a same gender thing or two people are married to different people those sort of scenarios then it becomes even more challenging and this particular reason even gets more stronger that they don't understand how they will answer to the world if somebody starts questioning them about this connection and because of that fear again they will not initiate contact with you if you really ask me twin flame runners absolutely love you the way you love them they miss you absolutely the way you miss them their way of thinking is little different because they are driven by their brains they are driven by their logic and they are driven by their fears they are heavily conditioned by the society and the societal norms and that is why we call them runners both these people runner and chaser they are thinking from completely different paradigms one is thinking from their brain and the chaser is operating from their heart chaser is following their heart chaser is believing in the union um, chaser is yearning for that love accepting that love and willing to come out and explore different ways to make things work out in this connection because they are understanding that connection and somewhere they are accepting that connection so there is nothing which is actually making sense for each other and chaser will always keep questioning that if you care for me that why don't you initiate contact and the runner will keep thinking that why don't you understand why i don't initiate contact so the way they are behaving in this connection even though 
on the surface it looks pretty cruel or you would start questioning why they are behaving the way they are behaving the way their internal emotions and internal blockages are blocking their actions their actions are also guided by the divine because there are so many times they will appear in front of you or they will some so, some way initiate some sort of a contact when it is absolutely needed so it is very evident that their actions are many times guided by the divine and i think this whole journey is about coming into balance because initially i remember when i was in the initial period of my journey and i used to absolutely get imbalanced and devastated when um, i used to feel that i am the only one who is initiating the contact and the other will not even reply and they will never ever initiate contact and i used to get triggered because my self respect my uh, patience my faith everything used to get challenged but as i progressed in my journey i started getting into my own balance i started finding some sort of a comfort by understanding what must be happening on the other side so i don't really need to take things personally when they don't initiate contact it's okay if they don't initiate contact when i started getting into more balance in my understanding about how my twin flame is actually thinking about this connection it became a bit easier for me to understand it accept their behavior carry on in my life and progress on my twin flame journey so i hope today's video has helped you to understand why your twin flame would probably not initiate contact with you now the next question comes that if that is the case that if your twin flame is not initiating contact with you the next question every chaser would ask is that then can i initiate the contact is it really an advisable thing to initiate contact if you feel like initiating contact with your twin flame and should you really in initiate a contact with your twin flame or you should give them their space what should you do so i would be exactly discussing that in my next video in this series of runner chaser dynamic till then take care of yourself and see you in the next video